Good evening everybody and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again for another beer review. This is my 800th video on this channel, um, mind you there's no other channels, um, it's my 800th video on this channel, so I'm going to do something a little bit, um, a little bit special. Um, I'm going to do a, a Clay Brown Narrow Beer, um, it's one of those that they've done in conjunction, in conjunction with uh, Conch Brewery and Catop Beers. And it is the dark side of the goon. This is an imperial stout weighing in at 16.8%, a titanic 16.8%, an imperial 16.8%, an epic 16.8%, a massive, stupendous 16.8%, colossal 16.8%. By the way, it's 16.8%. Um, there it is there, Dark Side of the Goon. Um, let's have a little look what it says on the back. A, uh, a calamitous smash in the kitchen, a shriek of murder in the, in the garden, a black shadow against the night. This is Dark Side of the Goon, and it says so there. Um, let's see if I can find. Best Before is 29th of the... Oh, sorry, Bottled On, sorry. Bottled On the 29th of 12th, 18th. Um, there's no, let's stop the bottom the thing. There's no uh, best before, doesn't matter, really doesn't matter. So there's a brewed and bottled by Conch Brewing uh, on the, uh, the garage 269 Leeds Lane, St. Helens. So it's a local beer, uh, making St. Sediment and store cold. There we go, have a good look at that. So this beer um, was brewed in honor of Kip the Cat, which I think is Cat Hop Beer's Cat, or was Cat Hop Beer's Cat. Um, and I quote the te the words I was given to, to use here um, Chief Glass Smasher and Hunter Murderer uh, Kip the Cat It costs, this costs seven ninety five. There's the There's the old price tag This was given to me by Adam um, From the uh, Merseyside Craft Beer Social um, He's given me, he gave me three of the Clay Brow beers um, There was Billy P's Breakfast Stout which I haven't done yet The Zulu New England IPA and then there's this bad boy here This big boy's drink So Without further ado, stop flapping me gums, let's pop it off, and let's see what we've got. Well, well, it's lively. <laughs> Okie doke, I'll... Uh, Go with what we've got. So, beer in a glass, what have we got? We've got four fingers, or a, nearly a fist, of dark, tanned, Swiss cheese like head. Um, we've got a jet black beverage. Yeah, and nothing's getting through that at all. It looks absolutely fantastic. It really does look good. I like these Imperial Stouts when they look like this. I like the colour of the head, it works quite nicely. And like I say, the uh, Swiss cheese effect. On the old head, so just trying to just get rid of that a little bit. Mm. Let's get a nose so we can smell. Rich roasted malt, a little bit of coffee on there, maybe. A licorice and a bit of smokiness too. Oh, it smells quite nice. This is a bit of a it's like coffee, coffee grinds that you get in the bottom of a of a cafetiere. A little, I say, a little touch of licorice, a bit of smokiness. It smells really, really good. Let's go with the old uh, mouthfeel, shall we? <laughs> wow, okay. Mouthfeel, it's got a really light, zingy, fresh carbonation. I am um, body wise. Body wise, it's good to medium bodied. It's a little bit velvety and it's a little bit oily, a little bit slick. It's actually quite nice. 
let's go for the big mouthful. It's really nice. It's very, very nice indeed. Very nice. Roasted malt. I say a little bit of coffee that comes that comes through. There is a little bit of it's a, it, it does feel a little bit smoky. I am um, a bit of a smoked wood type thing going on. I am um, you getting the alcohol, but it's not massive. You know, it just it just kind of reminds that you've got what is technically a bottle of wine, really, in a in a very small amount. You know, you're gonna get that booze. It's 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 gorgeous. The the the, aero, the alcohol fits in with the drink really really well, and it's warm as well. I mean, I had a couple of mouthfuls and I can feel it already. It's really really nice. But it, it maybe it is. But I, I, I'm gonna say it's a bit. If I, if I, if I thought I'm, I'm thinking it may taste a little bit like it's been kind of battle aged a little bit. I don't think it has, but it has that feel. You know that that that's the the, the alcohol feel to it. But I think it's it, it is, I think it's really nice. I think for eight quid, a seventeen the best part of a seventeen percent beer. I think it's a bargain. This is the one that's probably just do me tonight. I might have one more, but it's probably not going to drink much more than this. <sighs> mm. Well done. Well done, Clay Brown. Well done, Conch. And well done, Catop. This is lovely. <sighs> See, even a really big mouthful like that, the alcohol doesn't kind of build up, but the flavours are there, and they're really, really, really robust. It's good. It does kind of remind me a little bit of some of the some of the sort of higher strength ABVs that that Brewdog do. Some of their Imperial stuff, so like a, a sort of it's got a ten ton truck feel about it. And that I like that one I like a lot. This is right up there with it. And I'm not bullshitting because I was given it. This is a I think this is a really decent decent Imperial stout at, at for the ABV. <sighs> Quality. Ta -da. So there we go. Wow, that was really nice. I really enjoyed that. So Dark Side of the Goon by uh, Clay Brown, Punch Brewing, and Cahot Beers. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes. Um, I know a few people will drink this quite happily and really enjoy it as well. Um, so if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Um, Put a comment below, please. Um, if you want to have a look at Cat Hop and you want to have a look at um, Claybrook Nano, find them on Facebook. Um, if you go into, into their Zulu <laughs> review I did, you'll find the uh, the links on one of the comments from uh, that, that's been put on there. So, yeah, so if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Watch it for the first time. Hit the subscribe button, it's down there, please. Uh, do that if you like the beer. If you like the video, sorry, do that if you don't like the video. And um, I will see you on the next one. I am um, Haley Ale. Happy drinking. And find this, it is delicious. <laughs>